Hey everybody, I'm starting off this project by using this package of paint stir sticks. They come in a 10 pack and you could get these at Home Depot. So first I'm just placing seven of the paint stir sticks right down. And with two more of them, I just cut those down to size so that way they will fit on the sides of the paint stir sticks. And I'm just using some jumbo craft sticks and some hot glue to hold all of these pieces together. And this is what your surface should look like. So now I'm just using this folk art chalk paint in the color white and you could pick this up at Michael's. And I just applied two coats of this color, allowing the first coat to completely dry before moving on to the second coat. And then you just wanna put this aside to let it dry. So now I got this XOXO wooden cutout from Dollar Tree. And I'll be painting this with folk art chalk paint in the color Vintage Victorian. And you just want to use a smaller brush because you do just want to get inside of those grooves and nooks and crannies of this sign. And I only applied one coat of this color and once that is complete, you want to just allow that to completely dry and look at how amazing this looks. So now I'm just grabbing that paint stick sign and I'm going to be attaching the XOXO on it with this adhesive glue. You could also use E6000 with a mixture of hot glue and go ahead and put that sign on top of the other sign and you do just want to let that completely dry for about 15 minutes. So now I got these Jenga blocks from Dollar Tree. And I wanted to give them a nice wood stain color. So here is an easy way to color those Jenga blocks without having to hand paint them. So I just use a sandwich bag, apply the color of my choice, and then just water that down. I just spray some water inside of it, put the Jenga blocks inside, give it a nice shake, and then go ahead and just dump it out and let that completely dry. So now I'm just hot gluing those Jenga blocks side by side. So I just did a set of four of the Jenga blocks put together and then another set with seven Jenga blocks put together. And these are going to act as our border for this sign. So once I had those all put together, I'm just applying some more of that adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue on the back of the Jenga blocks and then I just began attaching those to the edges of this sign. And before picking this up or hanging it, because of that adhesive glue, you want to just allow that glue to dry for about 25 to 30 minutes. And I did have some small gaps along the edges, so I wanted just to cover those up. So I had these half wooden cut beads that I just stained in the same color as the border. And I just hot glued those right on the corners of the sign. And there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed creating it. I hope this inspires you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye.